viewers welcome to the video lecture series for the job role hand embroiderer class 10th unit 5 session 1 our topic for today is finishing and inspection of embroidered garments or products finishing is the final stage for the production of any garment or product finishing of an embroidered product includes quality checks which is important to produce a good quality garment let us now understand how an embroidered product is finished finishing is a series of procedures which ensures an impeccable beautiful and long lasting article or product the articles are closely inspected and rectified for defects and imperfections before packing any garment or product should be checked for falling things thread tails missing stitches stray threads thread loops in the embroidery design uneven embroidery garment stains damages ironing and packing an embroidered product can be finished by following some steps step 1 is removal of hoop marks or ring marks hoop or ring may leave slight marks when used while embroidering this ring mark can be removed by spraying water and ironing it it could also be steamed out of the garment step 2 is inspecting and correcting the errors and mending them thorough final inspection of ready embroidered goods is a must to ensure the quality standards various common defects should be rectified before packing these defects include gapping so gapping occurs when fabric is visible through the embroidery design these gaps can be filled by using same type of stitch and the threads second effect is a missing stitch sometimes stitches get skipped and pattern or motif looks incomplete these are called missing stitches the simplest way for this is to fill the area by using a double strand in some color and stitch as that of the motif third defect is stray threads these are loose threads and fibers that often get trapped during embroidery process or trail after completion of the process trim off the threads as closely to the stitch as possible and stick them neatly with the help of an adhesive take care not to cut the long knots fourth defect is thread loops sometimes loops may be observed in finished products as a result of loose stitches or faulty thread tension these can be rectified by pulling thread from back side of the fabric or embroidery and sticking it with a permanent fabric adhesive next effect is crooked embroidery when the finished embroidery appears slightly twisted wrinkles or puckered they should be steam ironed well from the back side of the embroidered area and stretched when hot repeat the process till all the twists and wrinkles are disappeared temperature of the iron must be appropriate to the fabric and the thread third step in finishing is removal of backing backing must be removed before delivering garments or products to the customers it can be done by tearing or cutting it fourth step in finishing process is removal of topping toppings that are applied on fabrics such as velvet fleece terry etc can be easily removed after the embroidery is completed by washing it or by ironing the article the next step in the finishing process is etching process or the chemical lace process this step is done only for finishing of chemical lace designs it is done to burn the extra fabric from around the lace sixth step in finishing process is washing and stain removal often dust and oil stains find their way on articles during embroidery process these stains are removed by washing process washing can be done keeping in mind some points only mild detergents should be used small amount of chlorine bleaches can be used if bleaching is necessary non chlorine bleaches can be used only according to the production instructions products can be machine washed only delicate wash cycle with cold water 
if color deposit appears in water it should be rinsed in lukewarm water and then cold many times until rinse water becomes clear remove garment quickly after wash cycle completion embroidered pieces or clothing should not be left soak in water or lying in a pile when wet embroidered articles should not be wringed stained embroidered garments or pieces should not be rubbed or brushed next step in the finishing process is raw merchandise control the fabric chosen for embroidery should be free of any defects so as to avoid defects in finer product usually these fabric errors are marked on the machine this is done by putting colored adhesives and or insertion of colored threads with special needles eighth step in the finishing process is ironing ironing removes wrinkles and gives a smooth look to the embroidered article when ironing embroidery product we must keep some points in mind these are embroidered pieces should be turned inside out before ironing direct iron on embroidery should be avoided as it may flatten design or destroy the threads for protection of embroidery it is advisable to place a cloth between iron and the garments avoid steam function as it may cause fabric shrinkage and create a puckered look in embroidery hang or fold after ironing the garment and refrain contact with any abrasive ironing should be done according to the type of the fabric the last step in the finishing process is folding the embroidered article after the garment product is completely free of any stains or defects and it is ironed it is folded to make it ready for packing a neat folded garment gives a sense of professionalism to the customers this was the finishing and inspection process of an embroidered garment after the embroidered product is finished and folded it is then sent to the packing department where it is packed and made ready to sell to the customer let us now summarize the finishing and inspection process of an embroidered product first removal of hoop marks or ring marks second inspecting and correcting the errors and mending them removal of backing removal of topping etching process or the chemical lace process washing and stain removal raw merchandise control ironing folding the embroidered article so viewers i hope the video was helpful and interesting for you all that's all for now keep watching keep learning thank you